Are you looking to get Xenophage, the new exotic power weapon in Destiny 2? We'll talk about it in this video. Welcome back. This is Part-Time Guardian, and in this video, we'll briefly talk about how you get Xenophage. If you like my videos, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Again, it really helps me out. And get in the community, and we can talk about what you'd like to see next. And for subscribers, stay tuned to the end of this video. I have an exciting offer coming up. So to begin this quest, basically there's two ways. You can basically go from Eris, and if you have the portal next to her that goes back to the moon, you can do that. However, that's not always available. If you don't have that, basically you go through Saras Harbor. I'll kind of briefly show you how to do that. And basically you'll get to an area where there are four statues. And basically you have to interact with the four statues in the following way. You have to go front right, back left, front left, and back right. Upon doing that, you'll get the reward for the next step of the puzzle. In the next step, you basically have to take a ball of light in the anchor of light and run it through several steps. I will kind of go through on video how to do that. Once you do that, you'll be ready for the next step. To complete the next step, you'll need to go to four different law sectors and basically interact with areas in the back in a specific way. I will show you on screen briefly how to do that. But if we think about the four law sectors, if we look at the symbols, basically there, if you go from the bottom and you think about like a telephone, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, starting from the bottom left. So again, in each of those areas, in K1 Communion, the sequence is one, three, eight, eight. In Revelation, the sequence is six, four, five, five, four, eight, two, five. In K1 Logistics, it's 7165. And K1 crew, it's nine, four, five, two, three, three, two.
So for this next portion, you will finish the first encounter of Pit of Heresy. Once you're done with that first part of Pit of Heresy, you will normally go through a set of doors that are in the center, but instead of that, you'll go all the way over to the left, there'll be a door with a chest, and then you'll open up the next part of the quest. For the next area, basically, after when you get within the second encounter, while the vulnerable ogres are kind of chasing you, there's a series of runes on the floor at a cliff that's on the far side from where you drop down. You interact with the rooms and then a series of platforms will come up. Basically jump over those platforms and then acquire fire. Again, it's similar to some of the things you've done in, in the past. Once you have the fire, basically stick to the far right hand side, which again is tricky because the ogres, some of your teammates may have to help you distract them. But basically at that point, there's a door with two lecterns on the outside. Light them. Again, you can do both in one step. You don't need to go light one, go back and get the fire light two. You can do them both with one, with one light. At that point, that'll open the door and you'll have the next step. Basically the final step of the quest. So at the boss, uh, it's a little bit different. Basically, for the boss itself, the only way you can damage it is you have to basically match your dread that you've been assigned to the type of weapons that you're using. So also in this encounter, basically, if everyone wipes, then you have to kind of redo things. So it's smart to kind of leave someone in the main room, not to go out. That way, you never run into a situation like that. There's going to be a ton of ads in the center, so you'll have to be careful about that. They're very powerful, so again, just something to be uh, mindful of. You'll notice that there is a dread in your lower left-hand corner. Basically, what you have to do is go to the center, go pick up an orb, then whatever your dread is matched to, you need to go take that element and you need to go put it in a particular area in the four corners of that room. The four things will be arc, solar, void, or neutral. Neutral corresponds to kinetic, so if you have the neutral one, once you dunk the orb in the neutral area, then at that point you'll have you'll be able to do damage with, with kinetic. If you have the other three, then again, you'll be able to use whatever weapon. So again, you want to make sure it's probably smart to have a weapon of every type. And you can also, you could basically for your subclass, whatever. So let's say you're running a arc uh, super, then you may want to do solar and void for your other weapons along with your kinetic. Again, you'll need to do that a number of times. It takes a little while, but it's not too bad. And then once you defeat that boss, you'll have the next step. You go back to Eris. And you get your shiny new incentive So let's get back to the offer I talked about earlier. First off, I really appreciate all the support. The channel has just grown by leaps and bounds. Really appreciate all the support. One of the things I want to do to kind of give back to the community is when I hit 100 subscribers, I'm going to give away a couple of items. My channel, obviously, is the part-time guardian piece that I do. We also do board games on this channel. Again, it's more of a family channel. So two things I'll be giving away. One is a copy of the board game Relative Insanity. Lots of fun. Again, I'm giving that away for free. The other thing I'll be giving away is a Destiny Tricorn emblem. This is an emblem you actually cannot purchase from Bungie anymore. I happen to have an extra one. Thought I'd give it away from you guys. It also has an emblem code on the back. When we get to 100 subscribers, what I will do is I will post a video with that. And then in that video, whoever comments in that video, we're going to just take a random person from those commenters and you'll get this for free again makes a nice christmas gift so again if you do subscribe to the channel that's an opportunity if you have friends who might be interested in this content and might be interested in this giveaway talk to them have them subscribe to the channel again once i hit the 100 we'll put this up so hopefully that guy was uh helpful for you guys again i'm trying to make sort of no filler guides guides that are really quick kind of get to the point Again, if some of it isn't clear, let, let me know. Again, that's why it's really important to subscribe to my channel. That way you can get to the comments. We can kind of talk about, hey, I'd like you to improve in these areas. We can kind of make the videos better because I'd love to improve them as we go along. You guys have been very supportive. You know, we're up to, uh, as of the recording of this, 51 subscribers. So I really appreciate that. So let's just keep it up. Let's build the community. And I'll see you guys in the tower.